Hello, I'm Torn Mog, and I'm a member of the equity team for the, 40, for the 44th General Council and a student pursuing ministry at the Atlantic School of Theology. Equity looks at the relations between and within groups and asks, is every person here empowered to live into their calling? Equity is the absence of oppression, the social limitations of one's ways of being. I see equity as foundationally relational. Equal rights does not necessarily create equitable communities. Our possibilities and ways of living are tied up in our relationships with one another. Equity requires the transformation of these relationships. It matters to me in big terms because I am a person tied up in relationships with my siblings in Christ and in the world. And I want to see them flourish as I want myself and the world to flourish. Like here's an example of an equity problem. So a friend of mine, I'm gonna call him S, was berated all his life for being lazy and forgetful and bad at math. He heard this on the lips of parents and teachers and tutors. He internalized these comments and accepted them as part of himself and despised himself for it. As an adult, he discovered that he had ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Learning this didn't fix his problems overnight, but it let him put them into a different context. He wasn't morally inferior, lazy, distracted, and attentive. His mind just worked differently from that of those around him. He grew up in spaces like schools, which expect still and silent children sitting neatly in rows and never moving. Leaving aside whether that works for any child, that, that, that system wasn't going to work for him. As we became close friends, I was able to see the scars that this had formed on his spirit. So equity to me matters because I want to live in a world where he can flourish and a world where no other child needs to undergo what he did. Mm -hmm.